How I create Shane in Fusion 360 is first start by creating a sketch uh, on the plane of the sprockets. And what you want to do is find the center point of these sprockets and then draw a line to where the chain will follow. So around here, I don't know the exact distances. Uh, it doesn't really matter though because it'll still work regardless. And around there, just get in the ballpark. Next, what you want to do is use the fix constraint and then fix these circles to where they are. And this will help when you make tangent lines, which what you want to do is just draw it close, close enough to where it should be. And then using the tangent constraint, it'll automatically snap to the tangent point. So just two lines, get it close, hit escape, and then up here on the tangent, you just click the circle and the line automatically snaps to it line, circle, line, circle, and circle, line. And all those are done now. Uh, and usually what you could do, oh, it's lagging. Uh, usually what you could do is just using the trim tool, you could go in here and then trim off the whole thing. It doesn't work here, I don't know why. So what I would do is I just go click this circle and make it a construction line by hitting X and this basically just stops it from counting as a real line when you actually go to generate the path. Go to the other one, click it, hit X, does the same thing. And then what you want to do is take the three point arc tool, go along this construction circle until you see the square, like right here. This represents the end of this line, so you want to click that, find the other end right there, and then find anywhere on the construction circle and the three point arc will snap to that distance so for example right uh, right there snaps to the circle go over here find the square find the square and then snap to the circle and then you can finish the sketch because the path is done now what you want to do is you want to use the measure tool up here and then by clicking these you can get the length right here, so 13.495 inches, click this one, 2.241, click this one, 13.495, and then down here, oh, there it is, oh, no, that's the circle, oh, why can't I select the arc, there it is, uh, 3.463. And what you want to do is add all of those together and subtract it by 0.386. And that'll give you the distance from uh, the chain all the way around back to itself. And you just want to have that number down somewhere. So next what you want to do is bring in the high strength chain. Raise it up and then use the point to point command and then click the middle cylinder of this chain and then since its orientation is horizontal, what you want to do is align it with a point where the chain would be horizontal on the sprocket. So either down here or up here. I'm just going to choose up here. And then you click right there. The chain's now aligned where it should be. And then you hit OK. So now what you want to do is over here on the left, select this chain. Go to Create, Pattern, Pattern on Path. And then what you want to do is set the orientation to path directional and then go to select path and then choose the sketch you just made. For the distance, use the distance that you calculated before. What I got was 32.345. So type that in. And then how you measure how correct it was is you go over here and see how well this lines up. I think this is a bit of an overshoot. So I'll lower it down until it looks decent. There it is. And then what you do to calculate how many chain links you'll actually need all the way around is you take the total distance around here so you don't subtract anything from it, but divide it by 0.386. And uh, I got 85 for that. So then you type in 85. All the chain goes around. Uh, you can see it's all lined up and then you just hit OK loads, generates all the chain links, and then you have it all done.